Good morning. Um, today I'm going to give you a general overview. I'm going to go through it fairly quickly or we'll have this video for 30 minutes. So you take your handhelds. <clears throat> First we're going to collect a quick order uh, using the exchange cart routine. Um, you sign in to your device. You scan that password you were given. Double check your time and date, make sure it's correct. Then do the exchange cut routine. Manual. You're gonna put your initials in or scan the barcode you were given. By the way, if you don't have those barcodes, uh, someone should let me know and I'll get them to you. We're gonna put in the uh, inventory. And you're going to scan that barcode up on the shelf in the room. And we're going to tell the system <clears throat> what's left on the shelf. And you'll see the inventory name will appear. And then we're going to put in a stock number. We're going to use a specific one so the test will come out right. 3183. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scan that. Put in a quantity left. I'm going to put zero. Then we hit the down arrow when we're done in that room. And we're going to hit save and exit. And that takes care of the collection of the file on the handheld. New world. It's the same process. So on the new ones, you would hit the Hamburg menu. And here we're going to send the data file from the device to that folder that you all have set up. And I'm going to put in uh, Steve video. And I'm going to send the file. File's been transferred successfully. I'm now done with my device. I can log off or leave it on this screen or whatever you'd like to do. So the next part of the process is to go to Meditech. Once we're in Meditech, um, let me try to get rid of some of that background. Once we're in Meditech, we're going to go over to the handheld interface option on your menu. You're going to hit Process Session. Go to New. Now, these Meditech screens could be a little different in your case, depending on what version of Meditech you're on. Once we select File, you're going to say OK. And Meditech is going to give you this screen, and you're going to go to whatever folder you were instructed to go to. Because I'm doing this uh, remotely, I've got to do it a little bit different. To find my local C, I think it's this one up here. Yeah. I'm going to go to my folder. And I have a bunch of files in here. Here's Steve Video. Meditech's going to ask me if I want to upload Steve Video. I'm going to say yes. <clears throat> then we see the file come across. It's in a compiled status. There are no errors. Remember, that's important. So we're going to go ahead and say post the batch. The, best, the batch is now posted. So there's a couple of ways to do this. The way Steve does it is I then just close out of the, um, exchange, uh, out of the handheld interface menu. I always go over here to process exchange card. Um, you can do it from that menu. There's a process option. I personally prefer to do this. Neither way is right or wrong. They're both okay. So from the exchange card menu, I'm going to pick my fourth floor that I was working on. And under record number, I'm going to do a lookup. Now you're going to notice on this system, when I pick today's, that batch I just did, you're going to see that both sides of this. One is closed, and the pick ticket has already been generated. 
So you don't need to create that pick ticket. In some of the screenshots you sent me, the bottom was empty. And I, you guys have to create this. So I think the first option we need to look at is when you get to this part, um, this should already be filled in. So if it's not, uh, we need to speak with Meditech about that, or we need to make some updates to your inventory dictionary so that this is filled in. If this is not filled in, then you must go to create, uh, post the restock record, and then create your restock. I can't mimic that because this system is automatic. So that when I update that handheld session and post it, this is already created. So then all I'm going to do here is uh, go to reports. If it's all filled in, I'm going to generate my pick list by location. I'm going to in include zero quantity, of course, and then I'm going to print it out. In this case, I'll look at it on the screen. And then you'll see that I have one item on my pick ticket. I'm going to take that, go through the warehouse. I'm going to go ahead and pick my item. And then I'm going to post that restock. Then you'll see that both of these records are closed now. And that should do it. That's the process. Again, the one thing I saw in your system on those screenshots was that the second half of that screen was not created automatically, it was created manually. So my recommendation is to do that so that people don't forget. And that's the process. Um, and if we go to verify the process word, then that's pretty simple too. We can go to inventory, stock inquiry, go to the fourth floor, because that's the room I was working in. And then I'm going to pull up that stock number, which was 0003183. And you'll see that the quantity on hand is now 1. If I go to all transactions, you're going to see that. I'm going to preview this. You're going to see that here on the dates, uh, today's 2 2, I did an exchange count record. Uh, which I issued out one box. There was zero left on the shelf. Then I did a restock uh, pick, pick ticket, and I have a receipt of one box bringing it back to full. That's how all your items should look that are on those pick tickets. Uh, different quantities, obviously, and different on hands. So there you have it. Uh, I hope that uh, it helps. Certainly, we can get together soon and go through this in some more detail, a little bit slower. But for now, there's your video. Have a great day. I look forward to working with you.